Here's a piece from 2000, the year I turned 50. It's a personal piece, part of a suitcase series. Uh, a lot of my work is, is very personal and kind of symbolic of time periods in my life. And uh, when I turned 50, I said, wow, I'm, I'm 50. Time to simplify. Trying to put things more into, well, suitcases or boxes. Um, so, um, you know, as with many of my personal pieces, I, I didn't, I really haven't ever taken this piece to market, but I'm coming to a time period where I'm thinking of letting go of things and trying to get them to the right person. So, here we got. We got my signature clouds kind of, they're kind of falling down, kind of taking you right to the person. And, uh, which is me, but it could be anybody. Um, so I'm slanting up like this, as are all the trees. And what kind of holds the piece in place is having these three suitcases over here anchoring me. Otherwise, everything would go like that. It's designed to create a sense of movement or unsettledness. I mean, I guess that was what was in my mind. It's got, uh, at that time period and at other time periods, it's got kind of a spotlight here. The way I painted it, so you want to look right here. And then way over here, there's this little figure. That That's, that's probably my future or past self. Just... A larger self, maybe a spiritual self, something not quite in the physical realm. So um, on the back, I usually write the piece name, me and suitcases, a little blurb about the work. Um, my work is all made on rough cut white pine. Here you can still see the saw marks. Um, I put a batten on the back to keep the piece stable so it sits flat rather than cupping or warping. And that batten has got slotted holes. And what happens is if the piece moves and sh shrinks and stretches with changes in humidity between winter and summer, Instead of cracking at the screws, uh, it just slides. So, um, me and suitcases. That's the story about that one.